I am Miss Jenny with Miss Jenny's Cleaning and um, I wanted to share with you how I took care of the injuries that I got from the airbag um, in the car accident we had recently. I really hope that nobody needs this video because um, being in a car accident is horrible and um, that be what it may I am so grateful that we had airbags because it could have been so much worse um, I, I will tell you right now that I'm going to show you a picture that's pretty graphic I'll, I'll let you know beforehand so if you want to turn the video off or you want to fast forward through it you can do that if you, it's not that bad but it's bad enough some people may not want to see it um and I will say in advance that I know that um, there may have been other people who've experienced airbag injuries that were worse than mine. I think mine are typical. Mine are not extreme. Um, for some reason, and I don't know if it's just because of how tall I am or how short I am, or, um, you know, but I, anyway, m um, my face was injured and. Um, Ray's arm was injured. I, you know, it's so strange because nothing seemed to happen to his face. And another person I I know a long time ago, um, he didn't have injuries to his face. The only thing that happened was he had a little scorch mark on his shirt. But for some reason, like I say, I think it's probably because I'm short. The airbag got me pretty good in the face. So um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you now. So if you don't want to see this turn the video off or fast forward and I'm going to show you what I look like and it's not pretty sorry I mean it's it's not pretty um but I'm going to show you what I look like after the accident this was the day of the accident so it's on my phone so look away um let me see if there's this glare oh, okay can you see that so you can see like a, there's some swelling starting to come up on my lip and eventually there was a lot more bruising on my face it's kind of hard to see now, but on my neck, there was some basically abrasions from the material on the airbag. It felt like a burn, but it was really just, I guess, scraping from the airbag. And then I look like I look like a poster child for domestic violence. But honest to God, that was from a car accident. Nobody hit me, but I look like it. And um, not just what you saw on the outside, but I also had sores in my mouth from the you know pressure on my teeth so I just want to share with you what I did um, it was it's very simple it's basic basic first aid really so um, I washed my face several times a day and I just used um, dial soap it has antibacterial products in it or anti, it's an antibacterial soap so I use that to keep my face and my skin clean and then um, I use this. It's the Equate um, First Aid Antibiotic. It's like um, Neosporin. It's a, it's the Walmart brand of Neosporin, and I just made sure that I had that on all the sores to keep it moist. Moist. I hate that word, but to keep it from drying out. Um, I did get some scarring on my lip and on my nose, and I think I have some keloids here and there, but. No, I didn't get any infections when the the scabbing fell off. It fell off very nicely, you know, as I'm washing it, because I did wash it about three times a day and, and reapplied this stuff. And then my lips were kind of burned too, or chafed. Um, so I used the Carmex. This is a wonder drug. I guess you call it a drug. Um, but I love this stuff anyway. I use it all winter long. And because it was so bad it didn't heal overnight like it normally would with just dry lips um, but it did help with the that dry cracked feeling and then inside my mouth for those sores I used this is a little pricey um, this costs I think about five or six dollars and it's not a very big bottle um, and you want the orange gel in the blue because that's for mouth sores and I just happen to have this on hand um, another thing that I've heard that you can use is the liquid mylanta and put it in and swish it around like a mouthwash. You don't have to swallow it because it's really for stomach irritation, but um, I haven't tried it, but I've heard that it helps soothe the sores that you have in your mouth. So um, it took, I, 
think about a week for the scabbing to um, fall off. Of course, it took a little longer for the bruising to go away, but um, I healed pretty quickly um, without much incident. And um, this right here, we always keep this in the house. It's one of the best things on the market. If you, you know, Neosporin, but this works just as well. So, again, I, I really hope that this video never has to be used, but um, if it does, I'm here uh, to help you with that. So, thanks for watching, and um, drive safely.